Gary, two through the door. We'll start with Yannick Wilshut. I know he's a player that you're a big fan of and he seems to be a big fan of yours. Yeah, I've been joking with him this week saying that I started his career and it's time he, he repaid me by, by coming to Exeter. So, uh, delighted to get him. He someone I've signed before. Uh, we paid a lot of money at Wigan to get him, but he was a... A sensational player uh, in a season where we won the league uh, and obviously when you have those moments together then it creates a, a bond that I think lasts, lasts, lasts a lifetime really and when the opportunity came up to bring him in it was, it was strange actually it was the day I, uh, Ads pulled his hamstring and we had that kind of injury crisis and uh, I spoke to Yannick and it, and it felt like fate a little bit that uh, we could get someone in who predominantly plays as a kind of left number 10, left winger, but has also played as a number 9 and will provide pace, power uh, and attacking threat on the last line and, and we're absolutely delighted that he's committed to the club. He's mentioned that you know, he is a player that you, and you may agree, that you brought the very best out of him at Wigan and, and hopefully we, we can see that again. Yeah, I think we did. I think he's he's someone that I I got on really well with. Uh, you know, I had a connection with him, and he needs a bit of tough love. He's a a wide player who, you know, when you're asking people to take people on and and be aggressive and take risks in the final third, then uh, that isn't always going to happen. So you have to give these players belief and and that support to to keep doing it and. Yannick was someone in the season that we won the league that provided us an amazing attack and a threat. Uh, like I said, real speed and power uh, down that left-hand side and has the ability to cross off his left or come inside on, he, on his right and score goals. So uh, he's a fantastic addition. There's a lot of players in this squad that we've seen are very versatile in, in playing in, in perhaps unfamiliar positions. It seems like he's another player that, that, is, that is versatile and, and can fit in exactly where you need him. Yeah, I, th I think he's. I did try him at right wing back once, but I won't try that again. Uh, he'll probably be the first to tell you. But he he's predominantly a left winger. He he loves having the touchline on his left hand side and and knowing that he can go both ways. I think makes it really difficult for defenders to stop him. But uh, I did play him occasionally as a number nine when we felt like we needed his speed and physicality on on the last line and and through the middle. So. Uh, he, he can do either of the, those really well, but I think his his best position is a as a left winger. I think, you know, he he is a little bit older. When I got him, he was he was young, hungry, really dynamic. So we have to manage him well. We have to manage his minutes. He's had a full pre-season, but he's still someone that we can't just chuck in and expect to uh, kind of give us ninety minutes week in week out. We have to build him up slowly, but. Uh, at his very best, he's someone that, that I've seen before that can be extremely uh, dangerous in this league. And what's so important when bringing a new player to the club is he already knows your vision, he knows the Gary Caldwell way, and, it, and it's perhaps something that he doesn't need to learn as much as, as perhaps other players. Yeah, we've done some work this week on the team and obviously he's been, he's been in for, for a while now, but I, I spoke to the players and said, Yannick, you know, if there is space in behind, then put the ball in there because Yannick wants the ball in front of him, wants to run onto it, wants it to his feet to be 1v1. So uh, it's probably more the players that we have understanding what Yannick's strengths are and, and how we can get the best out of him, which I think I know pretty well because I've, I've worked with him before. And uh, Yannick's someone that I think is a, a really easy pe person to, to get to know and to, to settle into the club as has been easy for so many players this summer because of the good players and people that we have at the football club. So I'm sure he'll settle in very quickly. Moving on, on to Caleb Watts, what was it about him that caught your eye? Yeah, Caleb was someone that caught our eye last season when we played at Morecambe. Uh, he was a real threat in that game. He had real 1v1 ability, he had speed, he had quality. Uh, and we've kept an eye on him since then. He's, he then became available once the, the window shut and to have that ability to bring him in as well. He's been here for the last few weeks training and to be able to see him on a daily basis, get to know his personality and see how he would fit into the football club and vice versa for him to see how we work and see if that is something that he would be 
you know, excited to work with and, and thinks that we can help him progress his career and that has worked really well and I think it's, you know, at this moment in time it's it's a fantastic signing because of the injuries we have but I think he's someone that long term we can get the very best out of and hopefully see his career flourish with us and, and hopefully on to, you know, back to the level that he's played. He's someone that's played in the Premier League uh, before so he knows what that level looks like and he now has to work extremely hard to try and get back there. He spoke about his summer and how he had a couple of offers, but particularly when playing for Morecambe, Exeter City was a club that, that knew was a perfect fit for him, and it also feels like you know, it, it works the other way around as well. Yeah, I think so. I think there's been so many players out of contract this summer and, and have left it pretty late to, to get signed, so it's not normal that you sign you know, two out-of-contract players with the quality that Yannick and Caleb have, so we're... We're very fortunate that we've, we've managed to do that, uh, and I think you know the, the season he had last year in League One, uh, you know leaving Southampton. I think he's got a real point to prove. He's at a club where we can allow him to develop, and we will support him to to be the very best he can be. We've also used our contacts. Lauren's been great in, in telling us you know some information on him and uh, giving us a lowdown on him as a person and and as a player. So I think it's a really good fit. Uh, for both parties and we're delighted to, to bring him in and look forward to working with them and, and try and get the very best out of them. While it's not a, a direct transaction with Southampton, it, it's important in, in a way we, we maintain that relationship because I know that was something very important to you. Yeah, it was. We, we had kegs last year and that loan worked extremely well and I know Southampton were really happy with that. To, to have Lauren on loan as an analyst was a, a unique thing and uh, she was amazing for us, uh, for us in that period. So uh, I think it's important we keep, you know, good links with, you know, I say local clubs loosely because they are still a bit away. But they're a they're a big club that isn't that far from us, and uh, it's important we keep good links with with clubs uh, in the Championship and the Premier League uh, for, you know, the very best young players and and also staff at different times two in today and, and players returning from injury. Can, can we firmly say now that that is business done until January? Yes, that is definitely business over. Marcus is delighted that he can go on holiday now and, and take a break. But uh, I think overall it's been a brilliant window. I think recently with the injury crisis we've had, we've seen why you need such a big squad and uh, the, the depth to that squad. So uh, hopefully the players we've signed can come in and hit the ground running and and not pick up any niggly injuries and the ones we've got out can come back as, as quick as possible and there will be real competition for places and uh, that is what is going to drive the club forward.